What is up all my fellow miners? It's Nick from Mining Office and today we have a video which was slightly inspired by my last one. On my last video we checked out this Aces Dual card and I was quite surprised by its performance uh, when I tried the T-Rex Miner Ethan Lock. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, um, I wanted to compare different cards. I had already tested out the 3080 in a different video. Uh, the 3080, which is just over here. I'll link to that video, or I'll leave an annotation to it. Um, and it wasn't that efficient. I tested the 3070, and it seemed pretty efficient for a light hash rate card. So, given I have three different 3060 Ti's, we have the EVGA 3060 Ti for the Win3 Ultra. We have the Asus Tough model here. And we have, finally, the Zotac Twin Edge OC. I want to compare the efficiencies between each and more importantly I want to compare the effects of the LHR unlock on each of these. Um, from the feedback I've been seeing from the community and what I saw from my tests, um, the LHR unlock really acts differently on each card. Uh, so like I said, some cards you'll only be able to get it to 65% unlock, other cards you'll be able to get it to almost 70 like this one. That's what it seems like, it's very very different. So I just want to test that out and validate that today. And like I said, we'll, we'll run the miner on all three of these. We'll do number one, stock settings, just to see the 50% limited uh, hash rate. And then we'll do just some power limiting and overclocking. We'll start out at LHR6 as always, and uh, without any further delays, let's get right into it. These are gonna be our stock settings. Uh, you can see the EVGA card is pushing a bit more mega hash. So this is about the 50%. We're at 27 with that one, 25 and a half on the two others. I set the fans all to 80% just to have it equal across the board. And that way we can kind of compare the GPU temps and compare the coolers that way. And the power limit, I set to 55 just for now. And you can see that the power limits are not quite the same on all the cards. So the Asus and the Zotac uh, seem to have the same. They go down to 109 watts, but the 3060 Ti stays at 131. So I'm assuming that the 3060 Ti has a higher TDP than those two cards. But anyway, now it's time for the fun part, overclocking. Let's get to it. So it's been about 10 minutes since I've started it. Uh, you can see the second card immediately downgraded to LHR5. Uh, I set the power limit so they all pull about 130 watts. We'll fine tune it later, but I think that's good for now. And fans are still at 80. So it's good to see that the, the efficiency is in the mid 300s. That's not bad. And uh, this, is, this is basically where we play the waiting game. Uh, I'm going to leave the power limit at about that. And uh, we're going to let it go for at least an hour. See if we get any more LHR. Oh, there we go. There we go. Six to five on which card? The Zotac. So anyway, um, yeah, well, we're going to play the waiting game. I'm sure this will happen a few other times. We'll see where it settles. And just another note, I'll show you guys. Uh, the Zotac card is actually outputting, okay? So that might affect it slightly in terms of performance, but uh, yeah, I just wanna mention it. Also notice the GPU temperatures, they're all like five degrees apart. Oh, another uh, lock, there we go. Uh, so they're all down to five now, but uh, the yeah, the, the temperatures are all five degrees apart more or less, and they're pulling the same amount of watts. So that's very representative of the coolers, right? The Asus has the best, the EVGA is the middle one, and the Zotac has um, the crappiest cooler, we'll say. and that kind of makes sense. Look, the Zotac is very small, dual fan. Uh, the 3060 is a triple fan, but it's relatively thin. Like even compared to the 3070 here, you can see it's, it's, it's long, but it's, it's thin. And this Asus card is an absolute monster. Uh, so I'm not surprised at all of these results. I don't think we really learned anything by doing that test, but hey, I just wanted to show it. So anyway, now we play the waiting game for real. Okay, just checking in quickly. You guys can see it's now been an hour and a half. And as soon as I turned the screen on, the LHR got detected for the card which is plugged in, which is the Zotac. So look, clearly having it plugged in is gonna have an effect. Uh, if it's displaying video out, um, like I said, the second I turned it on, boom, it was there. I doubt it's a coincidence. So I'm just putting that out there. Okay guys, it's quite late at this point. Uh, the miner has been running for two hours and 43 minutes and uh, we're pretty stable around here. Now, what, what I have done is uh, I lowered and up the power limits just a bit and it seems like we were pretty much right on point where we're at, so I'm not gonna touch the power limits uh, after experimenting a bit. And I'm gonna let this run all night and we'll see how it goes. On the left is the 3060 Ti's and what I have on the right is both of my 3070's. 
So what I'll do is I'll kill both of the miners, I'll restart them and I'll let them both go all night and then we'll look at the shares. So just for now, you can see the shares are pretty legit. Uh, the card that's reporting the most mega hash is giving the most shares. And obviously this one was started before and you can see the shares there also, which are more or less uh, representative of the mega hash. So uh, like I said, I'll kill both of these windows. We'll get them restarted again and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Take care. And good morning, everybody. We're back and let's look at the results. As you can see, once again, as soon as I turned on the screen, uh, LHR kicked in on the Zotac card, but it seems like we settle around LHR 3. Uh, seems like GPU number 5, EVGA is the most efficient, with the Asus being the middle card and the Zotac the least efficient. Obviously now you can see LHR just kicked in, but if we look at some of the upper results, that's also what it shows. And let's look at the shares. So, if we look at the shares on the left hand side, uh, you can see they're about proportional to the hash rate. Happy to see that, that's good. And if we look over at the 3070s, to me, that also makes sense. That also makes sense, right? The LHR 3070 is getting slightly more mega hash with 287 shares, uh, and none of these have 287. They're just a bit lower. And if we compare to the full hash rate 3070, that's getting 397 shares, wow. Normally, I get no rejected shares at all. We seem to have gotten one here, but no biggie. It happens. Real quick, I'm gonna give you the memory types of each. You can see the Zotac card has Hynix memory. The Asus card also has Hynix memory. And my highest performing card, the EVGA one, has Samsung memory. Hmm. Is this a coincidence or could it be also dependent on the memory type? LHR might affect differently the memory types? Yeah, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. I don't really know either. I'm just doing some tests. So I think that concludes it. Um, the LHR is quite different on each card, but you can see we happen to stabilize at LHR3 on all three of them. And personally, from all my T-Rex unlock tests, if it's with the 3080 or whatever, I never stabilize above LHR4. Never, never, never. So guys, please leave in the comments below. Let me know if any of your cards on T-Rex Miner stabilize at five, six, seven, or even eight. And uh, yeah, I'm really curious to know because none of my cards have ever stabilized at those levels. However, as you guys know, on the 3070, I was able to get pretty much that 70 mega hash, even though I was at LHR three, I think it was, or four. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys appreciated the test and uh, have a good day. Take care guys and maybe leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you liked it.